Hi, my name is Danny, and this is my group's Eagle Bow presentation. Unfortunately, my group members are not here to help me with this presentation, so I'm going to do it alone. But it is what it is. First up, our fish video and time lapse. That's the construction of our bottle. We added a string, the filters, we removed the rain cap, we got the water, and that's our water that we got. And there's our fish, there's our plants, there's our plants growing and growing. And that's all the video it basically is. Now the question, what conditions need in the creation of an eco ball to sustain the great diversity of life for the longest period of time? If I want my eco ball to sustain the great diversity of life for the longest period of time, then I would need good filters, plants, and decomposers because it keeps plants and marine life alive. Background Research an eco ball is an habitat for a model of an ecosystem on the bright side. The purpose of an eco ball habitat is to study and grow, study how energy is brought into the living world, and transferred through food chains. It also helps how the living and the non-living environments are intimately connected throughout the cycles of matter. The eco bottle habitat and the aquaponics habitat have some, the same purpose, studying how living and non-living environments are connected through the same cycles of matter and such these systems are related to global climate change because global climate change is the ecosystems depending how drastic the change is global climate change can change could change an ecosystem composition and function these systems can be used to see what global climate change can do for a system that we make Here are materials to a bottle, tape, water, soil, guppies slash fish, decomposers, beans, grass, gravel, charcoal, sand, cloth, scissors. Here's the procedures. Get many two liter bottles and cut them in specified ways. Create your eagle ball structure to test, test to see if it stands. Get your yarn string and make a rain cap to simulate real rain. Get soil, charcoal, sand, and any other filter and put them in your eco ball structure in the desired order. Tape all the plants of your eco ball together. Security, run dirty water through the top of the eco ball and test to see if the filter will turn into clean water. Put the guppies in the aquatic section and see if they can survive the clean water. Here are results of the eco bottle. As you can see from the first image, our water is not doing very good and but at least our plants are growing from out of it our conclusion we thought our fish would have survived we found that our fish died after a week our data showed that the fish would have survived if the filters were clean we know that to be true because we observed the water had sand and dirt in it we thinking we are thinking of our filters or adding extra filters could have affected our results because it would have made the fish look survive longer. Primary project. All in all the eco ball practice helps with supporting trees and also the future in the future. With using plastic bottles and helping the environment. Also it helps teach others about our environment and to stop what causes the environment to have pollution and degradation. Future direction. In the future, I would like to test this experiment again and clean the filters to sustain my decomposers, fish, and plants. I would also help to clean and save the environment because this project helped me to learn more about the environment. That's all of our slides today. Thank you all for watching our Eco Ball project and 
I hope to see you soon.